Howdy folks, we are back again with another demonstration of EV3 and today we are going to go demo the robotic arm it's uh, another core set model mm. this is very interesting, it's a combination of roughly three motors and uh, I think I'll go talk a little more uh, details this time so there, is, there is a motor again at the bottom and um, that is to move the arm in a in a clockwise and anti-clockwise direction and there's a there's a sensor here touch sensor that is just to sense the mo uh, movement of the robotic arm and then stop it at a certain point right um, it's it's a bit of a complex design and and I think the reason I'm going into much of the details this time is because a lot of people had issues making these models for, for whatever reasons. Uh, there is another motor here that is for, uh, um, you know, a motion on the upward side of the arm. And then there's a motion here for, for the brackets to sort of hold the stuff. Uh, the operation is pretty straightforward. I mean, there's, there's not much to it. Basically, you just download the program, and the program comes with the core set. This is another thing where I'm seeing a lot of people had trouble um, uh, finding the stuff. And then there is another thing which we missed here is the uh, color sensor. Uh, this is a very intuitive use of the sensor here. Uh, I think we could possibly also use a gyro sensor here. But the idea here is that the color sensor has multiple uh, modes to operate upon. One, of course, it can um, see the color. It can also reflect the light and you could see or you could possibly measure the distance from that or you, the intensity of light, basically. So it is being used to see, as, as you could see, you know, um, um, that when the arms come that close, it basically cuts it off and then, you know, start bringing the other operations. So when you would actually do the first time, the um, the uh, the model would be in this particular shape, touching sort of a ground, and when you and when you load it, uh, it would actually go up, try to stabilize itself. If you see, it goes to the rightward movement, touch the sensor, and come back. Right, so that's pretty interesting. It try to you know gauge uh, certain data points based on that. Now if you could closely see, you see a question mark, uh, there are two ways you can operate this and you know, uh, and you can either try to go pick something up from the top side and bring it to the center or do the vice versa, meaning you could pick something from here and that depends on this. I'll just do a test run first to show you how it works and then we'll try to you know pick up an object as well. So you know, what you have to do is you have to select. And the moment you select it sort of gives you and check mark that okay it's in a ready position to go operate and if you hit the center button it will go try to lift up the stuff bring back drop the stuff and you know back to the same position and it, the lights start bringing orange uh, color and what you have to do is you could repeat the same operation downwards and if you do that, it will again show you the check mark saying it's in a ready position. And then you can operate the arm like this. And my son is really, really curious to show you that. And okay, so you could do it in two ways, basically, you know, and then do the top one too, and hit it. And I don't know if that position is good, but yeah, it is perfect. Um, and yeah, it didn't stack up, but I mean, it does the job well. So uh, that's pretty much it. I think it's a it's pretty pretty good. Uh, if you want to definitely give it a try, it took definitely some time to build this model up. Uh, I think we did a lot of mistakes on the way, uh, but I think after uh, finishing it up, it's uh, it's definitely come out come out well. Uh, it's not like other models where you could do where you could do a lot of stuff. I mean, you know, especially I think the gyro boy was the best, but. Um, this one I think you know uh, is something which you would uh, see the use of sensors in a very dramatically different way like you know cutting up the arm positions and measuring the distance of the arms and how do you know, you know specifically this part like how does uh, you know portions open up and close it's, it's very very interesting with the help of a motor right 
so very good combinations uh, give it a try and let us know uh, how you felt about it thank you